Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy D, and today we're gonna talk about Stephen A. Snitch, the buck dancer of all buck dancing. Well, is it he's the ultimate buck dancer of all buck dancing? Yes, yeah, something like that. I don't know. I just, I, just, I just made it up right now. But anyway, we got DL Hughley about to go in, about to go off, about to destroy, about to annihilate Thanos Snap. Stephen A. Buck Dancer Smith for taking up for Jerry Jones in that photo. So let's get into it. Like I said, man, if you're new to the channel, y'all hit that like button one time for the one time. And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Thank you, Kylie. Thank you, Kylie. Let's get it in. Jerry Jones, but the people in that group, the people of that age, they didn't stop being what they were. They went on and became police officers and judges and nurses and doctors and bankers. And they still carried those same attitudes with them wherever they went. Jerry Jones went on and became a very successful businessman and later on the owner of the Dallas Cowboys. And people in response, he couldn't be racist because he, uh, you know, he made a lot of black millionaires. He made black millionaires because he was an NFL owner. An NFL owner. So you try fielding a successful NFL team without black people. You might as well try rugby. But he was a businessman who bought... <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Definitely agree with that. The best athletes, and somebody else would have done that. And it was of the uh, Jerry Jones, a very young Jerry Jones, when he was uh, a high school student. And he was one of the people that were torturing young black kids who were trying to integrate, integrate the school in Little Rock. I don't know, I, I do know this, he's never hired a black coach. He's never really had a serious interview for one. Facts. So it, it, it would fall, stand to reason that a man who felt like that at 14 probably feels the same way in his 80s. What in his experience would make him different? The fact that he hired black people with the best at, at, in the field, to, to, to the best at their positions, to do a thing for him, to be a service for him. Even back then, they had prize bucks. Now, I'm not judging the 14-year-old. I think I, you can judge. You, you can't judge any of those people at, at the age of birthday. The problem is that what motivated them? To, what motivated them to be different? The same mentality that got him in the Smith kill. Uh, excuse me, in the Till kill. It's the same mentality that was pervasive in that picture. Because these incidents happened about the same time. The late 50s, Emmett Till was killed. Mm -hmm. This picture's from the late uh, late 1950s. So I know your nanas and papas are wonderful people, but uh, take a look at some of those photo albums and get a sense of who they really were. Because those same people that you smile with and laugh with torture children. Right. And those people, they got to pretend, they got to go on and pretend like nothing ever happened and move on and everything changed except their mentalities. They watched Fox News. They saw it say horrible things about people behind their back. And they raised the children. They raised the children. Like every time I see somebody who says something incredibly racist, they weren't, I wasn't raised that way. You were. Look at the people who raised you. So I'm not Facts. judging the 14 year old boys and girls in that picture. I'm not judging what they were. I'm judging what they still many of them are. All right, man. So there we go, man. That was DL Hughley giving his input on Stephen A. Smith backing up uh, Jerry Jones. And man, uh, DL Hughley made a lot of good valid points, right? One thing that people don't realize is that racism has to be taught to you. All right. Kids don't grow up to be racist. They don't know what, what race is. That has to be taught. That has to be embedded. That has to be drilled in their head and in their consciousness every single day. They pick up traits from their mothers and their fathers and their family members. So a lot of those kids that was in that picture probably still living now, probably still feel the same way. Right? Is it a possibility that, you know, yeah, of course, when you are a child, you do things out as, as a child and you can grow up to be a different person than what you was as a child. But at the same time, just take accountability and take responsibility at that period of time, you know? And it's just sad that you see even A. Smith over here buck dancing and praising his, his massa. Jerry Jones ain't do nothing. He's a very nice person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know how that goes, Stephen A. Buck. <laughs> but anyway, man, y'all leave a comment down below. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about D.L. Hughley giving his opinion, giving his thoughts about uh, Stephen A. Smith, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. We got more videos coming up next.